Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can easily download and install the current PHP version on Windows. Let's see. At first, go to the web browser. We are using Chrome. You can use any web browser. On Google search, type PHP. Press enter. On pressing enter, the official website is visible. PHP.net. Click on it. So here it is. You can see 8.2 is visible. It is released. Okay. Now I'll directly click on downloads from here. Now you can see 8.2.0 is visible. We want for Windows, so I'll click on Windows downloads from here. Now, now the downloads page is visible. It is having non-thread save as well as thread save versions. Always go for the thread save version. So I'll just go for the thread save and click on the zip file because it's for x64 that is 64-bit Windows. Click on the zip file. A download will start for zip file. Here it is, only 30 MB. Let's wait. It's written Win32, but hardly matters. It is. It works for 64-bit Windows. So we have downloaded the zip file. Right-click and click on Show in folder. Here it is. Now what I'll do? I'll. I'll just right-click. After right-clicking, I'll just extract it. Okay, extract it. We have extracted it. I'll right click and rename it. Here it is rename. I'll just change it to an easier one that is PHP 8.2.0. That's it. So I'll when I'll double click, here is our files. What I'll do, I'll just right click and copy this. Copy this. That's it. Now go to C drive. Here it is. We have reached the drive section, C drive. Click on Program Files and right-click and paste the same file. Click on Paste. Continue. Allow it because it's a, it's a admin drive. Here it is. Double-click and these are our files. Okay. What I'll do? I'll just right-click and copy this path. This is what you need to do to set the path. Minimize. Now I'll go to Start. I'll type environment variables. Here it is. Edit the system environment variables. Click on open. System properties advanced tab. Click on environment variables. Here it is. Under system variables, go to path section. The following path variable. Double click. Click on new. And right click and paste the same path which we just copied for PHP. Here. Here it is. That's it. Click on OK. OK and the last OK to apply it. That's it. Go to Start, Type CMD. Click on Open. Here it is. PHP, PHP space hyphen hyphen version and press enter. Here you can see PHP 8.2.0. That means we successfully installed PHP on Windows. Now I'll just minimize it and let's create a program quickly. Go to the drive. Let's say I'll create a program in D drive. Right click, create a new, create a new text file. I'll name it Amit and I'll just remove .txt and type .php. When I'll keep the cursor, it will ask me. Here it is. You want to change the file name extension? Yes, I'll change it to Amit.php. Now the file is PHP source file. If you're not getting all these extensions, what you need to do on Windows 10 and 11, you need to search for the settings. Go to view, click on show and click on file name extensions. Okay. That's it. Now right click and open this with notepad or notepad plus plus. If you are not having notepad plus plus, you can directly open this with notepad. Here it is notepad, double click. And here is a notepad. Now I'll quickly type a PHP program, a one, a one line program. So program gets enclosed under the following. Now I'll type echo and I'll just type this. Okay. Go to file and click on save. Minimize. Now go to CMD. Now to run it, we need to go to the same path. This is what this is just a D drive. So what I'll do? I'll just go to here, type D colon and that's it. This will change my directory. Here it is. We are inside a D drive. Now when you will type dir, you can see all the files and folders are visible for this directory. 
so so what we want we only want amit.php that's it so we have it here as well as here so to run it i'll just type php space amit.php the name of the file that's it with the extension press enter you can see we successfully printed the text amit things whatever you'll add under echo it will get printed so guys in this video we saw how we can easily download and install the current php version we also ran our first program successfully thank you for watching the video